YouTube. What's good, y'all? I'm Rich So Sand today. Man, thank y'all so much for coming through, showing your support, showing the love to the channel, Rich Gang Family. Again, man, let's get right into this banger. Before we do all that, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. All are welcome to join the Rich Gang Family, y'all. To all the supporters, let's go ahead and get 20 likes on this video. Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And last but not least, y'all, turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload every single day and when I go live, y'all. Now, the build that I am bringing, y'all, is going to be called the Midrange Maestro, bro. Everybody be saying Midrange Maestro? Nah, the Midrange Maestro. Now, the position we are going to go ahead and pick is going to be the power forward position, y'all. Now, the way that we are going to go about making this build is going to be completely different from what I have seen in past years as well as this year, y'all. I made this build completely on my own, very unique, and I'm telling y'all, it's going to be a lights out shooter, y'all. Now, I was thinking of picking the one with about 50% playmaking and 50% shooting, but I'm not. I'm going with the one with about 75 shooting and about 20% playmaking, y'all. Now, the best, yes, the best physical profile to choose is either going to be between the very first physical profile or the fourth one right here these stats will change as we go along making this build so do not be afraid of the 60s for these physical stats y'all now what y'all want to go ahead and do is go ahead and max out that close shot put your driving layup to a 66 and driving dunk to a 65 and you could put one extra attribute on either your standing dunk or your post took for three finishing badges y'all for your shooting go ahead and max out your midi your three point, put your free throw all the way down for now because this build, it can be a park build, it could be a rec build depending on how you wanna make it. Now, if you wanna be more of an all around player, I recommend putting on your free throw so you can take this build to the red. But if you don't care about that, go ahead and put your post fade to an 87, y'all. Now look, you could take off some badge points for your three pointer to get extra badges elsewhere but I highly don't recommend doing that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and put our three point to a 74. And that's still going to give us 20 shooting badges, y'all. But don't worry, you could change it however you want. Now, we're going to go ahead and max out your pass accuracy, your ball handle, and your post moves. And take one tick off of your ball handle to make it a 62. That's going to give you 20 playmaking badges. Now, for your defense... Go ahead and max out your interior, your perimeter, put your lateral quickness to a 45. We're not going to touch the steel just yet. Put your block to a 72, max out your offensive and defensive rebound, and that's going to give us seven defensive badges, y'all. Now look, we have three extra attributes that we can use anywhere here. If you want, by all means, you could go ahead and put it back to your three-pointer, and look what happens right here. You put those extra badge points and put your post fade to an 86 and you're still going to get those 20 shooting badges, y'all. Your three-pointer is going to be at a 78, but this is just all based on preference. Again, I'm giving y'all options on ways to make these builds and you could really do it how you want to make these builds, y'all. Now, let's say you're worried about the lateral quickness, y'all. You could take those four badge points off of your three-pointer and put it onto your lateral quickness so you're not as slow but i'm telling y'all you're gonna have a very high speed still so i wouldn't worry too much about it but if you are i'm gonna show y'all you can put them on your lateral quickness to make it a 48 or you can max out your three-pointer if you don't have a problem shooting y'all i truly believe that this year you only need a 73 pointer because i have been hitting with mine and it's perfectly fine for me for the body type of course i'm going burly and for your height you want to drop him to 6'7", y'all. Yes, 6'7 is going to be where it's at. You're going to get a huge boost to all your stats, especially the important ones like shooting and also your defense, your ball handle. I'm telling y'all, this is the way to make this build, y'all. Now, for the weight, you can either go max weight or lowest weight, y'all. This is all based on preference. For me, personally, 
I feel like it might be better to go with the lower weight to get that higher speed. And you're going to get plus 8 to your physicals once you hit 99 and get that gym rat badge. So it's definitely going to be worth it making your weight the lowest, y'all. But again, let's say you want that strength and you're going to be playing center with this build. By all means, you can make it the heaviest weight and you will still get the build name, y'all. But again, for me, I just personally believe that going your weight on the lowest is going to be a lot better. Now... Let's get right into the wingspan, y'all. You have options when coming to this. Now, you can max out your wingspan or drop it all the way to the lowest to have a higher three-pointer, y'all. But I don't see too much of a benefit dropping your wingspan because, yes, you're going to get a boost to your shooting, but you don't need more than a 75 three-pointer to hit consistently this year. I'm telling y'all, I honestly hit pretty consistent with my point forward who has about around a 70 three-pointer, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and max it out and look at the takeovers that we get, y'all. We get sharp shooting, playmaking. We even get post-scoring takeover and shot creating as well, y'all. These are some of the best offensive takeovers that we can pick this year. Now, again, that's that max wingspan. Now let's go ahead and check out the build name, y'all. We get, as I told y'all before, the mid-range maestro now this build is going to be really nice once you hit 99 especially if you have a teammate running floor general and zymer you will not struggle with hitting and you're going to have hall of fame badges for a mid-range maestro bro y'all almost caught me right there i know y'all almost caught me saying it wrong but let's get right into the build badges and i'm going to give y'all some of my ideas and what i would do when i make this build for the bad setup y'all now for your physicals, remember, you're going to get plus 4 at 99, plus the gym rat badge. You're going to be in the 80s for your vertical, in the 80s for your acceleration, as well as your speed. So do not worry about speed when making this build. Now, for the finishing badges, I would go somewhere around the realm of contact finisher, pro touch, and lob city finisher, y'all. I feel like these three badges are going to be very nice to have on this build. Now... For the defense, I'm going to show y'all what I would do. I love running clamps, intimidator, and rim protector. Those are essential badges. Another one is interceptor as well as you could put on clamps on silver or even interceptor on silver as well as rim protector. But you could throw on any of the badges that you want. It's all based on preference. Now, for your playmaking, essential badges are going to be quick first step on gold. You're going to want handles for days as well. Because obviously this year you can dribble with normal signature moves. And I have done it myself. If y'all want a tutorial on that, go ahead and drop a comment. I got y'all. Other badges I'm going to throw on are Floor General and Dimer to help out my teammates. And of course, Tight Handles to help out myself. Now, I'm going to also throw on Unpluckable on Bronze as well as Bailout. And for the last three badges, you can either put on a Gold Badge or Spread the Wealth and put Bronze Badges anywhere you'd like. For me, I would go somewhere around Needle Threader or even Downhill. I mean, it's really all based on the type of play style that you like to play. But again, there is no wrong way to do this build when it comes to the badges, y'all. Now, for what we're going to go ahead for the last couple badges, we're just going to put on Flashy Passer on Gold to help out our teammates and give them a boost when we're running Point Guard with this build. Because again, you can definitely do that. Now, for your shooting, you want to go ahead and put on Range Extender on Hall of Fame. Hot Zone Hunter on Hall of Fame, Green Machine on Hall of Fame, and these last two badges, you do not need Hall of Fame because you're going to have so many good badges on Hall of Fame. Man, I'm saying Hall of Fame so much, but again, I'm going to throw on Catch and Shoot, and you could either go between Corner Specialist and Deadeye, y'all. I would go Deadeye, but let's say you're always going to be in the corner. You could take off Green Machine and put on Corner Specialist, and that's a really good badge setup right there as well. And that's going to be the badge setup that we have of three... 20 20 and 7 y'all if y'all watched the entire video through thank y'all so much for this amazing time that we spent together and thank y'all rich gang family for the 1k supporters y'all with that being said man be sure to hit that sub button if you're new all are welcome to join the rich gang family y'all to all the supporters let's go ahead and get 20 likes on this video be sure to share it with your family and friends and last but not least, y'all, turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload these daily bangers and when I go live. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich, 
out.